Hi, welcome to your Lottie Burke arms video. In this video, we're going to be exploring Lottie Burke arm movements that are inspired by her original work. Um, she actually didn't have a lot of arm movements incorporated into the workout itself. So there wasn't like a designated arm section like there is with the Zen bar moves. So this section is going to be inspired by a lot of her warm-up moves, actually were arm exercises. And then I just took other arm movements inspired by her work and incorporated them into this workout. You do not need any weights for this workout at all. It's not supposed to have weights, but if you wanted to challenge yourself a little bit more, I would recommend very light weights, one pound, maybe two tops, or those wrist weights, the bala band, something along those lines, could be also used as well. I'm not going to use any weights today just to demonstrate to you that you really can get an effective workout for your upper body without any weights at all and just using your own body weight in mind muscle connection. So we're going to start with um, some bicep work and some shoulder work and a lot of these moves are going to hit multiple muscle groups at the same time. So let's get started. I'm going to keep my feet hip distance apart. A soft bend in the knees, just drawing those hip bones forward slightly and keeping my belly button engaged, shoulders traveling down the back and crown ahead to ceiling. So this is the posture we're going to use for a majority of the exercises with some slight variation. So we're going to bring the arms out in front and I'm just going to have you bring them up to shoulder height. I'm going to turn to show you. We're just going to reach forward. So little reaches here. And we're going to do about 24 repetitions or so per movement here, just to making sure that we're really bending and extending those arms, really reaching forward, engaging all the muscles in the upper body, keeping the core nice and tight. So we're going to reach, 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 keep going. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Now we're going to start reaching, moving the reach to the outside. So we're going to get some lateral reaches. Again, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, keeping that belly nice and tight. And we're going to get a nice bend and stretch for the arms. So we bend and stretch those legs. Now let's bend and stretch those arms. Keep reaching. Reach. And we're going to, again, make sure we're trying to keep those shoulders plugging down the back, keeping a nice extension, little bend, big extend. My hands are up toward the ceiling. You could always flip the palms to face down and that will get the shoulders in a different little uh, po different point of view. You'll feel it a little bit differently. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now start walking the arms back. Now imagine you're holding a giant beach ball here. So this is a port de bra position. We're gonna go low up to medium, down, and up. Again, trying to keep our posture nice and tall. You could always sit for these movements as well. You could always bring yourself into a wide second position if you really wanted to challenge your legs. Otherwise, you can stand nice and tall. So there's lots of different variations that we can do here. So I'm just going up to mid height. We're going to increase this slightly. We're going to change the movements. Let's do another set here. Eight seven, six, really imagine we're holding that beach ball, four, then we're going to bring the arms overhead, two, last one, come center, now come overhead here, overhead, so I'm just going to show you here so the screen's not cutting me off, I'm just bringing my arms up to the top here, keeping that belly nice and engaged, not locking out the knees, and even though we're bringing the shoulders up, really do your best to keep them traveling down the back. Don't hunch them up toward the ears like I just did there as a demonstration. We really want to keep those earrings, those shoulders away from the ears. They are not earrings here. Let's do one more set of these and then we're gonna combine the previous this move with the previous move. Eight. So you should see the repetitions are starting to add up. Let's do four more. Four, and I have no weights. <laughs> Three, two, one. Now we're not gonna take a break here. We're gonna go down and all the way up. So nice pour de bra here, all the way down. You can even touch the tops of your thighs if you want to. I'm trying not to touch the tops of my thighs because I find that it helps keep my arms that much more engaged. So this is a full range pour de bra. Again, the legs can be doing anything you want them to do. Just making sure we keep a soft bend in those knees so we don't hyperextend those knee joints. 
Ooh, starting to feel the burn here. So the goal is not to take any breaks, right? But if you need to, because your form is off, just to shake everything out, please take your break. Come back and join me with the proper form. Down, up, down. Let's do one more set of these. Eight, then we're gonna keep the port bra shape. Seven, and do crossovers. Six, five, four, three, two, last one here. Keep the port bra shape and just cross. So they're about mid height, they're about my chest height, and I'm just doing little crossovers here. Cross, cross, cross. You can make fists if you want to. I'm just trying to keep my hands at a little ballerina. Try not to squeeze my fingers together too tightly here. Cross, cross, cross. Feeling the chest a little bit with this move, as well as shoulders, biceps. We are gonna hit triceps specifically at the end of the workout. Let's do another set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you can always make those bigger too. I made them small. You could always make them bigger. Okay, so now let's bring the arms out to the side and we're gonna do figure eight. So you see I have a little bend in my elbows and I'm just going up and over with my palms here. This is a move from the original work warm up. So she would have you do this at the beginning of class. So it makes for a nice arm warm up move. And I'm not using any weights, right? Like I said, I am feeling the burn here. So these next few moves that we're going to do are from the original warm up. Those first few are just ballet inspired movements that work well in a warm up situation as well. Over and under, over and under, over and under. Let's do another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep the little bend and just go up. So imagine you are just going up, up, up. Little quick here, up, up. So this is a good move to do if you're cold and you need to warm up. Little ups, up, up. Keeping the same shape with my hand, you could always fist if you want to. I just like to keep my hands nice and flat here. Up, up, feeling the chest, shoulders, biceps, and even a little tricep action. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now go back. Imagine you're hitting the wall behind you now, and I'm just kind of shifting in my legs to make sure I'm keeping that soft bend, always keeping that belly button to the spine, so I'm imagining I'm just slapping the wall behind. Back, back, back. This is another warm-up move, back. The, the next few are all warm-up moves, really. Probably most of the ones through the rest of the workout, except for some of the tricep work. But I'll point them out because it's fun to do. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, little circles forward. Feeling all those repetitions start to add up. Like I said, you don't need weights, or if you do, I have even half pound wrist weights that I've used um, just to give a little bit of a boost, but you really don't need too much here. Forward, forward. We are gonna go back with this. Little circles forward, forward, forward. Let's do eight, seven, then we're gonna reverse. Four, three, two, reverse the circles, back, back. You can make the circle as big or small as you want to. I've probably got like a medium circle here. Back, back, back. Like I said, feeling the burn, back, back, back. We're gonna get a little relief in a couple of minutes <laughs> and a couple of moves. Little circles back, back, back. One more set. Let's do eight, seven, six. We're not done with the circles yet. Four, three, two. Make a fist for me. Forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go eight circles back with a fist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do four forward. Four, three, two, and four back. Four, three, two, let's give those arms a tiny release. So I'm bringing them here, soft bend in the elbows, and imagine you're clapping the air. This is another move from the warm up. I think it was called the clapping the ears. Um, I remember these moves were originated back in the 1960s. So this is called clapping the ears. It's a chest, you should feel the chest muscles start to fire up here. 
I'm not clapping completely, I'm clapping the air. Feeling it add up. Let's do another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, bring my arms out to side, squeeze behind, out and squeeze. So it's an extend and a squeeze behind. Extend, bend, extend. So this is getting the lat muscles, which are the big muscles in the back. Also getting some deltoid shoulder work, getting some bicep work on the squeeze. Bend, squeeze. Extend, excuse me, squeeze. Extend, squeeze. We have one more exercise here before we just shift to the tricep focus. Squeeze, extend, squeeze, extend, squeeze. Let's do another set here. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This next move is called, it's imagining, it's kind of like a, um, it's a chest move, but I'm grabbing onto my forearms and I'm holding onto the skin and I'm just pushing the skin up. Imagining I'm pushing up sleeves. I believe it's called sleeves. It is from the warm up and it's designed to get those chest muscles firing up. I'm also feeling the rest of my arms because we've been working arms for almost 10 minutes at this point, maybe more. And I'm just firing up the chest. So I'm push, push, push. Push, 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 push. One more set here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the arms, shake, you're not done yet. Bring them overhead. I'm actually gonna come down to my knees to show you. So I'm keeping the shoulders away from the ears. My hands are up in prayer. Imagine you're hitting the wall behind you, getting the triceps firing up, back. Back, again, you could do these on your knees, sitting down, up on your feet, it's up to you. Back, back, This is these are prayer arms. We do use these multiple different times in core work, and we're using them here for upper body. Back, back, back. We're gonna bend the arms in a moment. Let's do one more set of these. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna bend and extend. Bend, extend, bend. If you want to make this a little more difficult, you could always just separate the arms. It kind of depends on what you want to do. I like to keep them together. I actually feel like this is more difficult for me to keep them together. And I'm just like pushing my palms together as I bend and extend, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, keeping that belly engaged. Bend and extend. This next move is gonna get those arms working again. Kind of give you a little bit of a release from the tricep work, but still working triceps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna stand up for this next one. Keep the arms out to the side. It's called, it's a kind of based on a flamenco. We're gonna dip and imagine we're slapping the palms of the, uh, the tops of the hands together behind us. So we can even kind of get into this a little bit and really kind of roll into the move. So we're just going to come forward and imagine we're slapping those hands together, the tops of the hands together behind. So forward and back, forward and back, forward. So you can really get a nice little shoulder roll here, get the chest. It's a really good full upper body move. Remember keeping those abs engaged. Forward and back, forward and back. This is in the warm up as well. It really gets the heart pumping, the blood going. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, we're almost there, three, two, and one. This next move is triceps. Now you can stay up here, making sure you have a nice flat back. I'm just lifting, lift, lift, keeping my hands nice and flat. If you wanna make fists, you can. And if you wanna come down your knees, you can do that too. Just making sure you're keeping that gaze in front, keeping a nice straight line from the head down to the tailbone, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, keeping those abs engaged. Up. So it's up to you how you want, what position you want. You can even lean over a little bit more. It kind of fires up the thighs a little bit. Up, lift, lift. We're gonna do three more variations of this and then we're done. Don't forget to do your cool down. <laughs> lift, lift, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna circle. So we're gonna go both directions. 
So go pick a direction in circle and then we will reverse. Little circles, tiny circles, trying to keep those arms lifted up. Nice and high, this is tricep focused work, but we can't work in isolation, but it is definitely tricep focused work. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse the circles, tiny circles, trying to make them as small as you can to really keep that work focused in the upper body keeping those triceps up as high as you can. Again, if you start to get tired, release, come back with proper form, shake it up. Just little circles, circles, circles. Let's do one more set here, then we're gonna do tiny bends and stretches. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Little bend and reach. Bend, stretch, extend. Those arms are feeling it. We've got one more move after this and it's an easy one. Stretch, stretch. Give your opportunity, give your arms the nice stretch they deserve. It probably feels good to take a little bit of a stretch in between a tiny bend. And stretch, bend and stretch. Stretch, stretch. Woo, take your nice deep breath. Cleansing breaths here. One more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just hold those arms up. See if you can hold up nice and high. Breathe. See if you can come up a little higher. They're just straight and you're just really clenching onto those triceps. One more lift here. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Shake those arms out. Give yourself a nice stretch over here. Stretching out the shoulders. We'll give ourselves a quick stretch, but you can also do the cool down stretch as well to get into the upper body and to make sure that you get everything nice and stretched. I'm doing a tricep stretch here, so I'm reaching my hand down my back. I'm pulling on my elbow. You can even add a little stretch to the side and then do it to the opposite side. It just feels good to really get everything stretched out after we've worked so hard for the last 10 or so minutes to get a nice stretch, a nice strengthening work in. So there you have it, my friends. That is your Lottie Burke arms video. As I said, you don't need any weights for this. You could try it without first and always come back and add weights as you see fit. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you at the bar. Bye.